Good morning, good morning. Hopefully everybody's doing good. As you can see, we have a whole mess going on. I'll explain to you kind of what's going on. So right now, we have some of these cabinets primed. As you can tell, it's kind of patchy, but it's primer. It doesn't matter. Um, just so it adheres nicely. These are the bigger doors, which some of them will have to get wet sanded. That kind of got stuck there. Uh, but yeah, some of these cabinets will have to get wet sanded. As you can see, the way we we're painting, painting them is we put them on these hooks and just hung them up just like so. So then we can paint both sides uh, and be all right. And that's obviously a top piece. You won't see those holes anyways. But yeah, there's a bunch of cabinets here, which kind of masked that off the best we could. But we still got some overspray in there, as you can tell, which is not a big deal. It's whatever. Uh, doesn't have to be professional. But we want a nice finish on the doors as you can see some of these doors are painted however uh i've never used this gray coat before to paint stuff with actual paint we sprayed the primer it was all right but this paint was a lot more difficult to spray uh, which we used this gray color and as you can see uh we had some runs so the reason these are like white and whatnot is because i was wet sanding those uh those drips uh, and it works pretty good uh, wet sanded it and now we're gonna hit another layer some pretty horrible drips as you can see like that is really really bad uh, but we're just gonna have to redo it just wet sand all of this some of them came out looking okay some are like really really rough and then it was dripping off the hangers it's just one of the things that we've never done before did so, like some youtube research and then we still just couldn't get it right, you know? So it is what it is. It's kind of like a learning curve uh, to this stuff. But as you can see, I mean, this one turned out pretty nice. I must say this Graco does give it a pretty nice finish. It's pretty easy to use. However, you really got to hang of, got to get a hang of uh, the spray speed distance uh so basically in this video i'm going to show you guys how to set that thing up how to use it how to clean it and then hopefully we can finish these cabinets today because it is a pretty nice day and then uh do rest of this stuff but yeah like this drawer i think obviously there were some gouges in this but i think the paint looks pretty nice again uh in case you don't know i said earlier we bought a place uh it is a multiplex, just like that one, but it's lower down. And one of the units is where we're going to be moving into, me and Melissa. Uh, and then three units are rented out. So we bought this kitchen, used the marketplace for ourselves. And uh, yeah, we're going to finish it up. Came with granite countertops, paid the thousand bucks for it. Uh, still for a kitchen like this, especially with granite countertops, much cheaper than buying it new. Uh, quite a bit of work though, but... Uh, hopefully it works out and they all come out looking like this but yeah it's my milwaukee m12 light pretty legit we have a heater when it was cold uh and yeah this is the graco painter uh pretty easy to use pretty easy to clean as long as you get a hang of uh the spray speed and, and overlap uh you should be okay but basically that's what we're gonna do today today try to kind of show you how to do this thing and we're gonna switch it up we're gonna paint them differently uh so we left these big cabinets i think today we're gonna hit the rear of them and uh actually how we're gonna paint them is i bought this lazy susan at home depot we're just gonna lay them on this just like so and then we're just gonna paint and then you know you hit the paint here you spray right here and then just twist it around spray right here and get all the angles so you don't have to keep going around it, especially on the bigger pieces but it should be all right i think the finish came out nice but we definitely have a lot of fixing to do hopefully wet sanding it and giving it another coat will fix it so we'll see how it works out we'll see how the end result is especially on the actual cabinets themselves uh, these cabinets um, i had to lift them off the ground as you can see right there 
using these painters tripods pretty strong stuff and yeah we'll see how this works out but definitely a lot of fixing a lot of drips but wet sand it down to the primer and just hit it again and it should be okay so that's the plan when we start you know wet sanding this and uh using this magnum x7 we'll show you how we use that i'm definitely not no professional painter just as you can tell but we are trying to learn so yeah uh let's uh get to sandy finish these up and then we're gonna set this table in lazy susan and start spraying and when we get to that we'll tag you guys along uh, with the great coast sprayer essentially they have like a very complicated tutorial on how to do things basically what you do is get a clean bucket of water dirty bucket of water and then you want to purge the system with that clean water all you do is turn it on <laughs> Until the clean water starts flowing, but then your system is purged, you're not using the gun yet. And then after you're done, take it out the water. And you're gonna lift it up. Make sure your hose is clean, because this is gonna go into your clean paint. And then you're gonna take your paint after you mixed it up. And you're just gonna dip this hose into the paint. And then what you're gonna do is purge it till the paint starts coming out. Right here. We have paint. It's probably a little watery, but that's all right. And then you just connect this tube right here. And then what you're gonna do is select the pressure you want, which I usually start pretty low. We're professionals, you know. Uh, your gun, uh, there's right now it's on spray mode, and then this way it's not on spray mode. You just hand tighten this. If it's positioning this way, it's spraying like this. If it's positioning out of it, it's spraying like this. Right now the gun's locked, so you're gonna unlock it. And uh, first, I'm gonna probably spray over here because there's a little bit of water, and then I'm gonna test my pattern on some cardboard. Since how we're spraying, we're just gonna spray a top coat and then go leave it to dry. And then when it's done, I'm not sure, if, should we do the size now? Uh, we'll see. But yeah, that's one coat, spray it, try to keep it at a 90. Uh, nice overlaps. I'm not too good at this, clearly as we can tell earlier. Uh, but yeah, that's how you use it. And then when you clean it, it's pretty much the same procedure as starting it up. Just put in the clean water uh, and then run this until you start getting clear and then run that until you start getting clear and then just clean the stuff and you'll be good to go. If the paint is water-based, you can clean it with water. If it is oil-based, I think they say clean with mineral spirits. So, but yeah, uh, hopefully these ones that we fixed up will cover up. This looks like it covered up pretty nicely. Hopefully it's not too thick, but yeah, we're gonna go put this away, let it dry. And then, uh, yeah, this is the rear side, so it doesn't matter as much as the front does. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get to painting. Oh my what are those? 
Were those Jesus 11s? <laughs> Anyways, uh, <laughs> we painted. We still have some left, as you can see. Uh, that one's wet. Oh, uh, yeah. They're, that's a nice clean garage you got there. Uh, but, yeah. They're drying. And then we're going to let them dry all the way. And then tomorrow, flip them around, paint the other side. And I think now we're going to finish up a little bit more of them that we have left. And then we're going to start hitting the cabinets. We only did, what, three cabinets? Like this one here. We have a run right there. But you can see it kind of starts running right here. But this part is going to be hidden by another cabinet, so it don't really matter. This is the island. Which... I don't know, looks pretty good. And then this is the wall piece, which I hugged it with my chin right here. It's kind of dripping right here. Had a little bit more. But, I mean, other than that, what do you think? Don't come to the front. <laughs> I think at this point, we've just been at this for so long that we're just kind of like, whatever works. It's a lot of work, a lot more work than we thought. So as you can see, we have all these cabinets to paint, <laughs> which cabinets aren't that bad. Uh, but yeah, got these doors left. <laughs> and then we're gonna, excuse me, hit the doors, hit the cabinets. <laughs> excuse me, close the doors and it's, it's getting dark. That's probably gonna do it for today's video. Catch you guys on the next one. All right, this is day two. I just want to kind of give everyone an update on kind of like what it came out like. It's still not perfect at all. There's still small, small runs. You know, the wood had some gouges in it, but we knew we we're not going to get a factory finish on these. I mean, they were used cabinets for years also prior to us. And just sanding them alone was a lot of time. And then if we were to fill and it just a lot of work. But I think for what we did with them they came out looking pretty legit uh, and hopefully this paint lasts as you can see you can see i mean there's imperfections and there will be but i think for most part it looks pretty solid it should look pretty sweet with some hardware and some granite countertops these are the granite countertops in case you're wondering it's that color right there they're a lot longer than what we're actually gonna need so i'm just gonna have them cut but in case you don't know granite countertops are pretty pricey and yeah these are the two extra cabinets well three that we have left over that we're not gonna use because it's more than what we need but yeah this for an island and then these two and then there's an extra countertop that was like on the side that we didn't even get to use so i might just sell that one it's like in the middle there but yeah, uh, we're going to hit some of these two more, I mean, one more time with paint. But for the most part, I'm pretty happy. I would say do not use the hanger method unless you're very experienced. Just because you will apply paint thicker. And what's going to happen is when they're laying, when they're hanging up, it will drip. But when you have them laying down, the paint will just dry a little thick and it will be better than having drips, you know. So that's just my two cents but yeah hopefully you guys like how they look ask any questions and catch on the next one i know we ended the video uh another thing i want to show you guys is this stuff is absolutely amazing i just used it there's too many drips here i couldn't sand it out the primer i was getting wood so i just bonded this and i'm gonna blend in with this uh, same as on this cabinet there was a gouge right here that we filled in and just sanded down as well as here and other than that everything is pretty much done take these out and then paint this island and uh paint that one cabinet and that should do it obviously we got some overspray on the inside but it is what it is but the finish came out pretty nice there's really not many drips or anything, but yeah, they'll do it. Catch you guys on the next one.